and we are back with our final conversation for this morning. Joining us in studio, we have Crystal Samos, who is one of the co-owners of Kansam Realty, all to talk to us about young homeowners and what you can do to be a young homeowner. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for being here. I think that this is a, a very important conversation for you know people of our generation who are still living at home, but they have their jobs, but can't afford rent and can't afford a home. Correct. So let's talk to us about what you're doing differently at Kansam Realty. Okay, uh, something that we're doing differently really is, like you said, we young people right now have such a hard time, mm -hmm. whether it's renting or owning a home. So one of the good things when working with Kansam, because we work with a financial and professional finance coach, mm -hmm. before you decide, okay, I want to rent, I want to get a mortgage, let's talk about your finances and where you stand. And if you're able to afford that now, or if we need to make a plan to get you there mm -hmm. to that space or, or position to where you can apply for a mortgage or start to rent on your own. That's and the question, right? Oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say that that's, that's um, interesting because um, do you find that, you know, based on your experience that uh, people have had that sort of advice before or they know what they're getting into when they no. go on to think? I myself, when I applied for my mortgage, right, it was just kind of like everywhere you don't mm -hmm. really have anyone to sit you down and say okay this is what you should have in place mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. applying for a mortgage and this is what happens when you apply for a mortgage and really because it really boils down to your finances yeah. really and truly yeah. that is what it boils down to so having that advice prior to making that big decision because also like i was saying earlier it's something that you want to be able to enjoy mm -hmm. but if you're not knowledgeable of what it means to have a mortgage or going into a mortgage it becomes an experience that's very unpleasant you're very stressed yeah. very unhappy and yeah. owning a home is something that everyone wants especially us young people but when we get to that it's like why did i want this you know what i mean so definitely having that advice and someone to sit you down and discuss and put you like i said in a position where you understand really what it means to have a mortgage and how to get there and make a plan is definitely the best advice i could give anyone who's looking forward to that so i that's the that's the key word right there you mentioned afford right Correct. so if you have a stable income you should be able to afford a mortgage uh or to rent Correct. but that will come with certain sacrifices right yes. so uh, for a single person who wants to own a home more than likely can't correct right it, so. it's a little bit more um, I wouldn't I would maybe it difficult mm -hmm. as, because I remember when I was single and I tried applying for a mortgage alone the first thing the loan officer said are you married especially us yeah. women right it's like okay so who is there to back you up and to support you basically mm -hmm. right um so definitely for people who are trying to do it alone the process is different mm -hmm. it's very different but again once you have someone advising you from the start mm -hmm. then it becomes a little bit more enjoyable and pleasant experience and also when you get it you're ready for it and you're able to enjoy it mm -hmm. because you get a mortgage you sit there and then you're not able to do anything else but pay, pay your mortgage, mortgage right? right? And that's something that most of us struggle with. Mm -hmm. Okay, we finally get the home that we always wanted or dreamed of. And now we're sitting in this house and that's all we have or can do, yeah. which is not living. Right. You know, it shouldn't be that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, when people are looking to buy their first home, um, there's a lot of factors that are involved that, that go into, you know, the affordability, you know, location being Correct. one of the biggest ones. Um, how do you, let's say, at work with somebody who is like the first time and, and uh, perhaps they're not knowledgeable about these things? Uh, how do you take them step by step through the process? <laughs> Again, once we're able to you know, identify what you afford, also another big advice is, okay, you need to go to a lending institution and then get pre-approved. Because we could look at 10 houses, mm -hmm. but when you go to a lending institution, they're the ones who give you the bottom line of this is what we're able to to lend you so you can purchase mm -hmm. so the first thing they need to do is i always advise them go to whatever lending institution you work with whether it's a bank credit union and get pre-approved once we have that number to work with 
then we go from there. Then we look at, okay, this is what you're able to afford. Then we look at, you know, the best areas um, that could afford that, that amount that the, the bank or the lending institution is giving them. Okay. So let's talk about Kansam Realty and what you all offer at, at, the, um, at the place. Tell us about how you take in first-time owners uh, and tell us about how you are able to link them with their proper financial institution, link them with the proper um, procedures and so forth, because that is essentially what, what you do. And Correct. how you link them with the proper, with the proper properties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here at Kansam, what we do is property management and real estate. The property mm -hmm. management is if you have a home uh, that you want someone to... to um, rent out for you or, or manage because mm -hmm. you know a lot of owners especially if it's huge apartment buildings or vacation rental you, owners don't want to deal with that stress of dealing with tenants and screening tenants and looking for someone to fit their their property so that's the property management side of it we do rentals vacations home and so forth mm -hmm. then the real estate side is like you said you want to buy or sell real estate which would be properties or homes like mm -hmm. i said someone comes they said i want to own a home i want to purchase a piece of land I want mm -hmm. to you know have the dream the house of my dreams again uh, what institution are you working with that's mm -hmm. my first question mm -hmm. have you been pre-approved who are you banking with mm -hmm. if they say no they haven't been to any lending institutions to get pre-approved that's my first step like I said that and okay let's talk also about what you can afford yeah. with the financial coach mm -hmm. right because again we want them to be able to enjoy the experience so mm -hmm. let's look at your finances first where you stand also because it's so important we get a mortgage you don't have savings you lose your job mm -hmm. and then what happens the bank takes away your home. something that you worked mm -hmm. so much and so hard for mm -hmm. so okay let's have this amount of money in your savings in an account saved for any emergency that happens along the way after you own your home you get sick like i said you lose your job you need a minimum of six months of your mortgage in a savings saved for any emergency right yeah. so like i said there's a lot of little you know things that we discuss along the way to ensure that when you get to that the pre-approved okay i'm ready to buy a home you're you're good to go yeah. yes is there anything that um comes at you in terms of when a customer comes to you and perhaps surprises you a little bit and you have to maybe make some some changes and some shifts in order to accommodate them not really. I think the only thing that I find a lot, like we were discussing earlier as well, is that we're not educated enough mm -hmm. when it comes to this process. For even for myself, before mm -hmm. I started this and I applied for my own mortgage, when you're as as you're going along, you're like, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. This is really high. Like I didn't know that. And then you really start to like your mind is like, wow, nobody really took the time to sit me down and explain this process and all the legal fees that come with it before even purchasing or after purchasing correct mm -hmm. so um like i said that's that's what i find the most people not understanding the process or being educated enough and that's where that's what we want to do we want to educate our young people more about what it really means to own a home and how to get there you know so oftentimes um you know you'll have young young people that say is it really worth it going through all of this hassle all of this expense just to own a home where i won't even be able to properly afford and i won't probably be able to eat <laughs> right so how do you advise that kind of situation? with that and i always tell people because real estate is an is an investment mm -hmm. it's a big investment i always tell people and i had this conversation conversation this week because a young person came to me they're like i want to own a home but i'm i'm scared i won't be able to afford mm -hmm. all these things and i said okay get yourself a duplex which means you live upstairs and you rent downstairs so mm -hmm. the downstairs helps to cover your mortgage and then that way you uh, you live a little bit more comfortable mm -hmm. and you have that income that stream of income coming in where you don't have to it's not as huge lump sum you have to be stressed about every yeah. month right so that's my first advice especially if you're a young person that's that's the best thing to do get mm -hmm. yourself a duplex like i said live upstairs rent portion of the property and then that way it facilitates everything for you. And how do you find right now, um, like let's say just the market in general for, for whether it's even rentals or properties, do you find that like right now 
um, there's enough variety to like accommodate like those first time or those young people who, who may not um, you know like is are you know are there good enough proper are there good properties for them on the market right now if you look right hard now for first time owners it's very difficult mm -hmm. it's very difficult because of the prices yeah. of the properties and the homes mm -hmm. especially if it's one person applying for it so definitely we need to work towards being able to facilitate younger people single mothers everyone mm -hmm. to have a decent living right mm -hmm. and that is what i was talking prior to the show coming on that there's something we're working on i can't say much as yet right but we're really excited because this is going to facilitate especially young people who dream of having their homes and it seems like a dream so far-fetched like i'm never gonna make it I'm, it's never gonna happen I guarantee you it's going to happen very soon. So talk to me a little bit about about that because you know we we are we are at a at a stage in our lives where young people youth is at least up to the age of 30, right? And I know for for my own experiences my parents had their home by the time they were my age. Correct. So what has shifted in our generation where now young people can't even afford to own a home? Just the cost of living mm -hmm. that has gone up really and truly. Um, definitely that is inflation and the way the economy is right now is what is affected because like you said our parents own homes with half the salary that we're making now yeah. right and with mm -hmm. 10 kids mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we have one we can't afford a home if we do afford a home we can't go anywhere else so that is what it has really affected this generation mm -hmm. to own homes and uh, statistically this generation is the one that is like no I don't want to own homes because now homes is like a prison for our generation yeah. it's like like i said it's not something we're looking for to, to enjoy it's like oh, i have to do this and you know you, you're but then it doesn't give you that sense of independence either because then it's either you live at home with your parents Correct. or with your family or you invest your entire life into a space right right and it shouldn't be mm -hmm. that way it mm -hmm. shouldn't be it should be everyone should have the opportunity to own their home right yeah because again we all look forward to the to it so we're working towards that being able to give young people that opportunity to say mean i can own a home it might not be the biggest thing in this world or a mansion but just mm -hmm. something that i can call myself mm -hmm. because at the end of the day it's about that like you said that that feeling of you know i finally made it basically <laughs> do you also find that uh are, are people at this time interested um in as as well as buying just property or land as, as an investment maybe thinking later on down the road um that can be something um i can pr i can maybe afford to build or i can do or maybe even i just have it as an asset at one point are people also interested in that sort of thing yes definitely and again as we go along we're educating people right now we have an estate in eight miles that's one of the things it's a little bit further away mm -hmm. but that's what our parents did Mm -hmm. Our parents didn't purchase in the nicest, biggest neighborhood. Yeah. They purchased somewhere they could afford, mm -hmm. right? A piece of property, whether it's to invest, because property goes up. Yeah. Every year it goes up. So purchase something, and I always advise them that you can afford. It, at this pr uh, state in eight miles, we were doing financing, 10% down, 200 monthly. But again, it comes with sacrifices. Mm -hmm. You're able to do that, purchase it cash at $25,000, which is really good, right? Um, pay it off in a couple three four years when you have that property and you own that property you have your savings by that time and you could go to the bank and say hey I want a piece of property in three four years it will be worth more mm -hmm. so then you have you know a better stance with the lending institutions to get a loan to purchase or I mean to build some uh, something on your property do you think that we um, we started too late as, as young people like the, the advice then you know that that all of this we're just starting to talk about these kinds of um investments now do you think that you know we take too long to talk about it? definitely yeah. I, I totally agree and and now for me as a mother um and not only did we take long to talk about it but maybe our parents maybe not yeah. in, with an ill intention but maybe because they didn't know any better as well they didn't advise us or guide us well to you know to talk about having these conversations early at home because that's where it starts yeah. right at home and for a lot of people also you know their mom and dads were able to okay do the work and leave something for them which is great then there's the, then there's some of us who would have to like it start from the bottom and get our own properties and so mm -hmm. forth but it ends here basically yeah it ends here and our children my children are now being more educated about 
you know, mortgage and homes and buildings and all these things for sure. Um, is there just this kind of like, you know, segueing into this kind of conversation, but is there anything that you didn't know when you were purchasing your, your, your first home that you wish somebody had told you before you started the process? Everything, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I knew nothing. I, I, all I knew was, okay, I, my husband and I, we want a home to raise mm -hmm. our children in, right? And that was about it because that's, that's the dream, that's the goal. But when we don't take time to yeah. really investigate what we're getting ourselves into, yeah. again, it becomes such a stressful experience. And as you go along, when you don't have the information prior, then you start like going into this, oh, I didn't know, I didn't mm -hmm. know, I didn't know. So I really wish someone had sat me down again with a financial coach mm -hmm. prior to even making the decision of let's go to a lending institution let's look at the finances this is what you need to have these are the legal fees this is the process you're not ready as yet mm -hmm. let's wait until you're ready or let's get you Building. ready mm -hmm. so that let's build you up to that then you can go ahead and get your mortgage um has have you ever had a customer that comes to you with like certain expectations and then after going through this whole coaching process like okay i don't think i wanted this again. right 90 percent of people 90 <laughs> percent of people you know because again it's just oh the home that's yeah. all they think about but when you start to, no it doesn't work like that it's like this and this is the next step and this and they're like oh, i don't even want to deal with it anymore yeah you know and that's why, again, it's so important to just gather as much information and do some shopping around, just like we shop around for everything else. Mm -hmm. Call all lending institutions. What is your rate? What is your interest rate? How many years do I have to pay this off? You know, mm -hmm. and all this information that you need to make the right decision for yourself and your family, of course. But then how do you, what advice do you give to somebody that, so normally when you have these kinds of um, conversations, right, um, you normally need collateral. And for a first-time owner, sometimes you don't have collateral. So how do you go about that kind of situation? Uh, for clients like that, uh, most importantly, like I said, I would advise them, get a piece of property because that becomes your collateral, mm -hmm. right? Purchase a piece of property, um, wait a little bit, a couple of years to pay it off or whatever you need to do while you save for the other expenses that come along with owning a home, then you go to the bank, okay, this is my collateral, what can I get now yeah. for this? Mm -hmm. So that's the best advice that I give young people. Do you ever um, experience the, the situation where as soon as they're so they begin the process, they do the whole, the whole financial advising, they start and everything, and then somewhere along the line, they're like, I don't know if I want to, to do this anymore. I don't know if, I, if the hassle is worth it. What advice do you have then? They're already in the middle of the process, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> it's totally fine. It's totally fine because mm -hmm. whatever works for everyone is different and everyone has different goals. For example, some clients don't have children, don't want to have children. Mm -hmm. My main reason for doing this is because I have children. Mm -hmm. So I don't want them to go through what I did. I want to leave something for them, mm -hmm. right? So that's, what, that's my reason to keep pushing with this. Other people who don't want to have children, I advise them, okay, get a duplex again. Mm -hmm. You rent the bottom or, or b even before, I have some clients who don't own a mo home for themselves, but they buy properties just to rent out mm -hmm. and they pay rent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An example, uh, my rent is $400 a month, it's me one. Mm -hmm. And I get a, a property and I get an income of $2,000 a month from that property just to rent out. I'm paying off my rent, I'm paying off my mortgage, and I have some extra cash. That yeah. is also a, a, an advice that I give young people who, like I said, don't want to have children or want it to do more of an investment. Are you, uh, is there anything at CanSum Realty that you think uh, our viewers need to be aware of? I think the project coming in January that I can't really discuss <laughs> yet, but I'm very excited again. So definitely um, keep, in tune on our Facebook page and Instagram. That's where we post what's and going on. Can some realty. Can some realty, yes, for both Instagram and Facebook. So that's where we post our listings, what's available for rental, um, and also the project that we're working in starting January that we're very excited about. Later on, hopefully by December, we're going give, to be giving out more information. And also, you know, if we also give free advice and consultation. So feel free at no, at no charge, call us, let us know, you know, I want to own a home. Where do I start? Again, we have the financial coach that we work with. We can mm -hmm. refer you to them, have them set you up. 
once you're good to go you come back to us okay now let's start looking for a home let's start looking for a property and so forth are there any um properties that are under can sam realty that that you offer to to customers or? yes right now like i said uh what i'm what i can think of is the estate in eight miles the properties are at twenty five thousand really dollars mm -hmm. it's really good yeah. And, I, and we've sold about, I would say, over 30 already, 79 of them. So a few are left. Mm -hmm. So definitely give us a call, um, whether it's to invest or whether it's to purchase and build your home. Because properties at that price right now are very scarce. And some mm -hmm. people think about it, wow, it's in eight miles. But so, you know, Ladyville, one spell was... Just, was, yeah. just bush, right? Yeah. So that's, what, that's another thing that we have to think about is the long-term investment that we're doing. Mm -hmm that's what we have to think about it's like okay it's a little bit distance but in a couple of years that property that you're purchasing for twenty five thousand dollars in five years it's going to be maybe seventy five thousand mm -hmm. dollars and i have people who have purchased just to resell in five years and they have mm -hmm. told me i'm just purchasing this so in five years i can sell it and make some profit off of it mm -hmm. so it's definitely um something that everyone should look into those properties there and they're clean and nice so some of them are ready just ready to build and the time is now to invest the time is now mm -hmm. it's now and i always tell people do it now because the more we think about it the more prices go up right yeah. and definitely and, then, and our salary not to go up with it so correct mm -hmm. correct so when you find opportunities like this like private oaks or anywhere in little areas like that i say take it even if later on you say i want to sell it you, you you can't lose with real mm -hmm. estate you can't lose so that's the way to go right now all right any other advice you have for young home owners just call us so we can set an appointment with the financial coach okay she will be the one to really you know let you know okay are you ready let's wait this is what we're going to work with and it seems far-fetched but again once you're working with someone they're guiding you the clearer mind it becomes you know you have clarity you have knowledge of the situation mm -hmm. and you move step by step mm -hmm. that's the best advice apart from properties you have places to rent yes we do a lot okay. of rentals as well mm -hmm. right now we don't have anything but <laughs> <laughs> we do rentals like i said rentals property management countrywide properties okay. and homes for sale countrywide Keys and, and some realty and some on instagram facebook <laughs> whatsapp email what, yes the number is 615-7971 and email it's info at cansamrealty.com Okay. and you can catch them all and then of course make sure you get that advice because guaranteed you know I, I i really don't like that we're talking about owning a home but not really being able to because aff affordability is key you can afford right. a home but you can't afford to live after you've owned a home and that's my that's the part that scares me it is it's, it's very scary and that's why getting advice is the best thing you can do before getting yourself into you know, owning a home or, or purchasing a home for sure. Awesome. Well, Crystal, thank you so much for thank being so here. Much and for we hope me. to have you back for that um, little private secret project yes. in January. <laughs> um, but keep us abreast with everything that's going on at Kansam, and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right. And with that, we're going to take our final break, and we'll be back for wrap up. So stay tuned.